Hi y'all, welcome back to Biz Vibe. I'm Vivian Camille, and today's Training Tip Tuesday, we are talking about how to build a strength training plan that's effective and efficient for running. Strength training is a great way to supplement your running. It helps prevent injury and also increases your power, which translates to speed! <laughs> watched some of my past YouTube videos I've done some strength training that has resembled a little bit of hit however I am now focused on a more traditional strength training regimen as runners we already get in enough cardio with the running training that we're doing so the goal is to focus on other systems and strengthen those up so you can be a better overall runner a good way to think of it is that our legs have fast twitch and slow twitch muscles. If we're always training the slow twitch muscles with our endurance runs, we're only utilizing half of the muscles we have in our legs. We don't wanna do that, do we? No. So now that you know why strength training is important, let's figure out how to do it effectively. If you're already doing a full training load with running, you don't wanna overload your body. It's suggested to do two to three full body workouts each week and that's pretty much your maximum. So you have sets, reps, and rest. You wanna take these pretty seriously. This is your structure. You're gonna to wanna to do four to six sets, four to six reps, and about a minute of rest to maximize your efficiency in the workout. I do five by five. Five sets of five reps and rest for a minute. It's easier to remember that way for me. So you wanna target three major muscle groups your upper body, your back, and your legs slash hips. These muscle groups are gonna help your stability on trail as well as perfect your running form and extend that running form into the long hours and really long miles of a race. When choosing exercises to put into the workout, start with compound exercises such as squats, dumbbell press, and deadlifts. These target a wide array of muscles in those three major muscle groups. So once you've chosen your workout, you wanna make sure that you're doing it properly with good form in a controlled way. You don't wanna to train to failure. Choose a weight that you can complete the workout with. If you choose a weight that's too heavy and you get to set four and you are done, you've gone too high. It's more effective to finish the workout with a lighter weight than to not finish the workout going heavier. Lastly, I love to round out my sessions with some form of core. This not only helps strengthen the muscles around your diaphragm, but it also improves your running efficiency. Strength training is kind of extra credit. You don't have to do it to be a runner, but if you do it, it will make you a better runner. So I recommend it and I'm trying to do more of it. Thank y'all so much for watching this Training Tip Tuesday. If you liked it, please like it down below and subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every week that I feel like it. And if you really want to know exactly what I'm doing and would be interested in a video of like the exact reps, the, same, the exact workouts that I'm doing, you can comment that down below and perhaps I can make that happen. Thank y'all again for watching and happy trails. This guy doesn't get out often enough, so. Thought I'd throw in the video. <laughs> One way to think about it is that's not really what I would say though. No, it's a good way to say it. <laughs> How to do it effectively. <laughs>